today I come to you makeupless and spotty from the depths of my bathroom. I'm on such a massive caffeine crash right now. When you do something like Moon Yuri, which is what I've accidentally nicknamed my video every other day this month, you leave a lot of things neglected. One of which is my bathroom. If you can't see how dirty this is, then good for you because it's disgusting. So I want to clean my bathroom basically. However, I currently have a lot, a lot of products in this bathroom as maybe evidenced from this. When you work as a YouTuber, specifically a beauty or lifestyle YouTuber, a lot of the time PR companies will send you a lot of new products so you can try them out and potentially post about them. You're not obliged to post about anything, but if you like it, great. So I test a lot of beauty, a lot of skincare, and I also get sent a lot of it, as you can imagine. And it really does just fill my cupboards. Like I have on top of what's in my bathroom, a whole box and a whole drawer of my like life, <laughs> just full of completely unused PR stuff. So I was like, you know what, before I actually clean this bathroom, I should probably go through every product and decide whether I want to give it away to family and friends, whether I want to keep it and keep using it and just pare down what I've got. I need some Marie Kondo in my bathroom. And I thought, why not bring you along with me? Because people love that shit at the moment. So the plan is I'm gonna have kind of three piles one which is to keep 100%, one which is to give to family and friends, and one which is to give to the wider population, which I normally either donate to charity shops or women's shelters. I feel like my life is a constant process of sorting out these PR packages, but ultimately it makes my job easier in the long run to have access to these products. So I can't really complain. However, there's a lot of products that I've just used once or twice that aren't actually for my skin type where I've realized like I already have this thing. I think that's been a real process for me this year because I only started receiving PR back in April. So it's been a process of realizing I don't need to try certain things. However, there's a lot of stuff in these covers that I've tried once or twice. So they will go out to family and friends. Okay, now we've done that, let's go and get some of the stuff. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. All oh, right. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go as fast as I can through this because there is just so much stuff. Even getting that all out was a bit stressful. I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with Purology. They do an incredible blonde, like shampoo and conditioner, I guess. All their blonde products are great, but I am not blonde right now, so I'll save this for another time. Definitely saving this. I love Body Shop body washes. My Aesop is all used up. <laughs> I think I'll make this into a vase. I need to sit on my bum. Okay, this is a really weird angle, but bear with. I'm currently using this Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. They can go back on my shelf. I love Cause Body Washes, but this is empty. This Lizelle Cleanser Polish Body is incredible, but it's completely empty. I've kept this soothing aloe face gel because in my brain, I will use this in summer. So I might keep it. Bought the Palmer's Cocoa Butter recently. I love it. This Sanctuary Spa One Minute Glow Mask is incredible and I use it before my shower. So I should just continue using it and use it up. This is the African Zamenia Scrub from The Body Shop and it's incredible. I keep it in my shower. Oh, oh my God, it just smells like it. Just smells like every nice home ever. That can stay. Hmm. Sex toy cleansing spray. I should use this. I love this Emma Hardy cleansing balm, but at the moment I'm not using cleansing balms. Think I should keep it and finish it, but there's so much of it. Hmm. I'll keep it because I really like it. So this is a problem. I have Embryolise say a uh, lay creme concentrate. I don't know if that's how you say this. Still, this is one of my ride or die products. It's an incredible moisturizer, but I have another one in storage and a baby one. So maybe I should give these guys away because I'm clearly not using it right now. I'm gonna give the big one away. I'll keep the baby one though for traveling. This is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Face Hydrating Mist. Either way, it's an incredible toner. It's one of the first toners my skin has really liked. So I'm definitely keeping this. It's fully in my routine. Urban Outfit has just released all of this new skincare stuff. I tried the two-in-one clay cream cleanser. Wow, my voice today. And it has this funny brush head and it's really cool actually, but the actual formula just doesn't agree with my skin. I think it'd be great for someone with oily skin. So that can go to a friend. The Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing products are just incredible, but I use the balm, not the oil. So the oil can go to a nice new home. I got halfway through this Body Shop Almond Milk Body Yogurt and I don't know. I just use other moisturizers now. I find them, these ones are a little bit gunky. They're very good but they're good for summer, not winter. I'll take it to my boyfriend's because I always use moisturizer at his. This Alex Steiner by Primark Plump and Glow Facial Inner Stick is really great for removing makeup in the shower. I think I might keep a hold of this just for travel because it's so easy and it's in like a stick form. So I was recently sent some of the Charlotte Tilbury Dream Creams, the Magic Night Creams and the Eye Cream. 
they're all incredible, but I think I'm gonna pass up, no, I think I'm gonna keep all three of them and save the Magic Night Rescue and the Eye Rescue for when I run out of my current eye cream and my current night cream, because uh, this is like a mask. This is super intensive and they're super nourishing and full of incredible ingredients. And the moisturizer I'm currently using up in my routine is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich. I love this stuff. Always have, always will, always repurchase. But Solution just didn't agree with my skin. This is a chemical exfoliator and it's just not for me. It's too intense. Do you know what is incredible? Votary sent me their darling set for Christmas, which is like the set of oils that are incredible for your face. They're very bougie, really gorgeous. And I've been using the cleansing oil to get my makeup off at the moment because I wanted to try it. It's really good. I don't know if I can justify Oh, so what I can get rid of is the intense night oil because it's a retinoid and I don't really need a retinoid yet. Okay. They have a really good super seed facial oil, which I'm using at the moment in my routine. I'll definitely keep that. I think I need to get rid of this cleansing oil, you know, I just don't think I'm gonna use it as much. If I keep the Emma Hardy, I shouldn't keep this. It's going, bye-bye. <laughs> I should really be asking myself if these things spark joy. I have nearly finished the Pixi Glow Tonic that I have. I have a mini one and it's incredible. So I'm gonna repurchase and I'll definitely finish that off. I need to get rid of this nail polish remover. I've had this for maybe four years now. I feel like that stuff goes off. This is hard. Living Proof sent me their Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Repairer. I've never used it. It's been in there for six months and I just desperately want to, but I just don't know how. I'll keep a hold of it and try it, and then I'll decide. This is so sad to give away. You may know I'm cruelty free. I can't use products that are tested on animals. And this quarterly, uh, it's the beauty elixir, is one of the, the final ones I have left. I've just kept a hold of it because I just love the smell. I love, I love it as a toner, it's just the best. But I can't use it anymore. <laughs> quarterly, if you could just like change your policy smells like Paris to me. I have to get rid of it though. Like it's so old. Thank you for your time, Cordley Beauty Elixir. I really enjoyed you, but I can't keep you anymore. This stuff is so cool. This is the way I think repairing shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I have both. I really, really like them. But at the moment I'm using up other shampoo and conditioner. I'm doing the bubble and bubble. So I'll keep these and then I'll get through them once I've got through those. This is the herbivore. This is the herbivore moon fruit. And I loved this. Oh God. I can't even show you it. I use this for a whole month, but because it's preservative free, it just went moldy. So for those of you who are anti-preservatives, I understand <coughs> I understand why, but stuff goes off quicker. I got sent a lot of body yogurt. I use this one all the time. This is my favorite by far. This is the rose. British rose, just like me. Oh my God, I just found a roots hair treatment. I love this stuff. I can't open it though. Still smells fine. I'm gonna keep using this. I recently received this Suzanne Kaufman Lavendolol De-Stress Oil. It's for your body, but it's just too intense for my sensitive skin. So bye-bye Suzanne Kaufman. So about two years ago now, Pi were one of the first companies to ever send me a gifted product. And they sent me this incredible range of their stuff and it's for oily skin. I used it, I loved it. This is the Rice Plant and Rosemary Bio Affinity Skin Tonic. This was my favorite thing. And unfortunately, I think it's been around like two, two and a half years. So I should really throw all this away. Which is such a shame because it was so good. Pi are just an incredible cruelty-free brand and natural I think as well. So if you're interested in, in that stuff, definitely check them out. This is another one that was an incredible toner that I'm gonna have to chuck, I think, because it's just so old. It's the OC, uh, what is this? C Vitamin Boost. It's really good. It has red wine extract and pomegranate and algae, and it's full of antioxidants, hydration-y stuff, and it's got the best spray ever. I wish I could show you that. It just, it just diffuses so well. It's also vegan, gluten-free, biodegradable, no animal testing. Yeah. Such a shame to have to throw stuff away that's just got old. This Glossier Rose Water Spray is great, but I don't need another toner. I'm really happy with the one I've got from her before. So that can go to a friend. This is hard. This is the Goddess Cleansing Ritual 1 and Ritual 2, which is new from Charlotte Tilbury. I really like them, and I think I'll keep them for travel. Yeah, for travel, I think. Yeah, I'll keep them for travel. If you have oilier skin, this Embryolise Hydra Matte Emulsion is great, but I don't need it right now. Why is my glasses fluid here? What? This is my favorite This Works product. This is the Leg Scrub. This smells like absolutely incredible. I use it when I was exfoliating, when I was gonna shave, and then when I was gonna tan, and it, mm, that's one of my favorite products. Definitely staying. Ah, Glossier You Perfume. I use this all the time. It smells so good. It smells like me in winter. This is the best tanner. This is the Visa Liberata Body Blur Sunless Glow. It's so good. It's not very permanent. It lasts like a day or two, but 
it's good. My lovely, lovely Aesop skincare. I got the antioxidant eye cream and then I also bought this uh, Mandarin Facial Hydrating Cream. I bought them both when I had really oily skin, so this doesn't suit my skin anymore and it's super old. And this is just really old, ooh. I used a lot of it though. This was the most I'd ever spent on skincare. I spent like 60 pounds on an eye cream. I was 21. <laughs> this is the Neighborhood Botanicals Oil. I use this every day, it's great. I should use up this face mask because I love it. It's the Glossier Moon Mask. This is the Body Shop Coconut Oil Body Oil. I don't need it but it does spark joy. This is Lush's American Cream Conditioner. I should use this up, I've had this for ages, but it still smells fine, so I'll go for that after I finish my current stuff. This is by Love Beauty and Planet. This is their hair mask, their rose hair mask. I've never used it. I don't think I'm gonna use it. I've got a hair mask in here, so. I don't think I've properly tried this out yet. This is the Way Dry Texture Foam. So I should give that another shot. Maybe I'll do that tonight. This is my everyday face wash. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's what it says on the tin. It's great. And this is my current eye cream. This is the Liz Earl eye cream. It's great, again. It comes in a really decent sized packet as well. I feel like most eye creams come really small. I'm currently trying out this deodorant. This is another one from the New Urban Outfitters range. This is a citrus tea smelling deodorant. It's really nice. And another thing I'm trying out. God, I'm trying a lot of stuff at the moment. This is the Ren Radiance Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. It looks like this. And I'm using it during the day just to give me some glow in case it works. I've never really used a glowy product every day and it would be really good for someone with oily skin. It's definitely a gel, but I'm enjoying it, so I'll keep it. This is another really French one. This is the Roche Posay. I got this when I was having real trouble with my skin before I went cruelty free and I can't use you anymore. So pretty much done. This is a whole toothpaste I didn't even know I had. I don't even know what's in this. People keep asking me about this because I mentioned it on Instagram the other day, but this is the IGK low-key walnut hair scrub or scalp scrub. It's so good. If you are like me and you get really greasy roots and doesn't seem like even two shampoos can clean it, this stuff can. I think it stays in the cupboard though. My favorite texturizing spray. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. Yeah, it stays, it's nearly done. This is the Way Wave Spray. This did me really well. I can finish this up, I can finish this up. This is the Pie Rose Hip Oil and it doesn't even look like it's gone off. This smells exactly like it did and this was really good so I think I'll keep a hold of this. I have had this Superdrug own brand, uh, what is this, hair protection heat styling spray for maybe three years and I'm still getting through it. So I should keep this and actually use it up. This is my new dry shampoo and it's so good. Definitely staying. This is another thing I've had for absolutely ages. This is the Bumble and Bumble texturizing cream. It's a hair undressing cream and it's like a really weird product to work with, but it's really, really good and it's so sticky. I should use this up. I tried this tanning spray once and it just didn't agree with me. So I'm gonna give that someone. This is the micellar water I use when I can't get my makeup off at all. It is from a French brand that's like French pharmacy, but it's cruelty free, I think. And it's really, really good. And it smells like aloe vera. It's got a slightly like granish scent to it, but I love the brand. I was on some like random website and I found it and I was like, yes, in my basket. And I've got so much left, so definitely stay. I think I'm done. I actually think I'm done. I've pared that down by about half and there's a lot of stuff that I just want to use up. So that's good. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Not that you had a choice. I hope you've enjoyed going through all my crap. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I do a lot of lifestyle videos, a lot of beauty videos. As you can see, there's plenty of products to test out. So if you want that, please subscribe <laughs> and let me know if there's any products you think I should try. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.